Everybody watching. Roberto Alomar and Brady Anderson discussing. The Orioles coaches can't bear to look. We're going to show it again in a second. Just to let you know. Messina, unlike score, would leave under his own power. He suffered a broken nose, a laceration above his right eye. Ray Miller would have to go to his bullpen, and Arthur Rhodes clearly was distracted by everything going on because the first batter he faced, Travis Fryman, greets him with a two-run homer to right center. It's fifth of the year. Indians take a 5-4 lead, and you want to win by that score. First game-related information. Baltimore has lost eight straight one-run ball games, while Cleveland's string of six straight losses finally ended. From the fourth, Chad Curtis taking Darren Oliver deep to left field, fourth homer of the year. Three-nothing Yankees. Hideki Arabu pitched seven shutout and handed it over to the pen. Top of the eighth. The Yankee pen, however, was leaky. Rangers down five-nothing. Runners on the corners for Rusty Greer, and he takes Mike Stanton deep and gone for his fourth of the year. So it's a 5-3 game. Top of the ninth we go now. Rangers within one. Luis Alisay on second, and Mariano Rivera blows his first save of the season. It is Greer who does it again. Alisay scores. We're tied at five. Top of the 10th, we go to extras. Will Clark at the plate. Clark against Rivera. Liner to center. Bernie Williams on his imaginary horse. Diving grab. Even up Don Denkiger can't believe his eyes. Well, top of the 12th, Alisea facing Willie Banks. Tino Martinez diving grab to get out of the inning. Top of the 13th, Greer at the plate again. And this time, Greer got it. Second homer of the game, fifth of the year, 7-5 Rangers. And it's time for John Wetland back in Yankee Stadium coming in to close the game out for his current mates against his former mates. And Wetland gets Daryl Strawberry to fly out to the man of the night, Rusty Greer, to end the game. 11th save for Wetland. Rangers win 7-5 and 13s. A six RBI night for Rusty Greer. That ties a career high. The Rangers. Paul Molitor at third. Pedro Martinez gets Matt Lawton looking. 11 strikeouts in eight innings for Martinez. But we're tied at one in the top of the ninth. Dan Nalty's pitch to Damon Buford. Here's Buford. Actually, to Alex Ochoa. False. Can't make the grab. Buford slides safely into third with what was called a triple. Ochoa bumming. This might have cost the Twins a run in a game, but Nolte would strike out the next two Red Sox, and with Buford still on third, Mark Lemke looking to end the inning. We're going extras. Bottom of the 12th, still out. tied at one. Nobody out. Now the Red Sox in a jam. Nobody out. Bases loaded. John Wozden in that jam. Alex Ochoa swinging. One out. Terry Stun back. Looking. Two outs. Next batter is Pat Mears. Can Wozden get out of this jam? Mears... Says no. Danny Hawking scores. Twins win. Two to one. Mears came into the game hitting a buck 79 with runners in scoring position and a buck 61 overall in his previous 16. His base is loaded. Oh, yeah. Oh, Henry's fourth career grand slam, ninth Jack of the Year, Cubs up seven to one. Bottom eight, Rockies down seven five. Benny Castilla, cuz I'm just trying to rack. Big league best, 16th homer of the season. Castilla racking all game. He was five for six at the plate, but the Rockies down 7-6. Bottom nine, Rockies down 9-7. Runners at first and third. Rod Beck schools Todd Helton to end the game. Rockies stranded a team record, 17 runners in the game. Cannot win like that. Kevin Tappany wins for the... Freezes Steve Finley with the bases loaded on a 3-2 pitch. Finley's like... How you gonna call that? Umpire Wally Bill's like, please, bro, get out my face. Bottom seven, pods down, one zip, one out, Mike Sweeney in first. John Onerud fields, Kilvio Veras is grounder. Sweeney gets forced at second, but slides into Luis Lopez to break up the double play. Next batter, Finley grounds to the hole. Carlos Baerga, playing too close to the line, gets burned for the single. Then Tony Gwynn bloops it to left center. That's why Shorty's hitting 373. Bernard Gilkey. Couldn't make the catch. Game tied at one. Bottom eight still tied. Runner in first. No out. Greg Myers. Nice bunt. But Dennis Cook's throw to second base. Just a bit high. Greg Vaughn takes third on the error. Next bat batter. Pinch hitter Eddie Williams. And Eddie is off the hook. Grounds it to the left side between the pulled in infield. Vaughn comes home. Padres going to win it. Three to one. In the first of six doubleheaders that have been forced by rain this season. Brian Klesko takes him deep to right center field. Brian Jordan over, makes the catch. False alarm. But Mark McGuire, he got it. 
Oh, he takes Kevin Millwood deep and gone. Solo shot, 15th of the year. Cardinals up two to nothing. Cardinals up three to one now on the top of the eighth. Andres Galarraga, the big cat. Base hit, Keith Lockhart come on down. Braves now down three to two. And later in the eighth, the bases are juiced. Javi Lopez at the plate. And Javi, will he bust out the whooping stick? No, he busts out the single stick. Chipper Jones scores. Here comes the big cat, and the Braves go up four to three. And the Braves lead. And they win, but the streak is over. Skip, how you doing, man? Fine, thank you. All right. Braves didn't homer, but they scored seven runs in the eighth to win. One. Tony Fernandez, who started the season 0 for 16 with runners in scoring position, straight butter. With the man on second and third, Juan Samuel and Jose Canseco score. Fernandez now nine for his last 17 with runners in scoring position. And then Tim Salmon gets robbed by Alex Gonzalez. Gonzalez making up for an 0 for 4 day at the plate. Top nine Angels down 4 2. Matt Wahlbeck. Rides Randy Myers to left center. Jim Edmonds comes around from second to score. Angels down 4 3. They tie it at four in a sack fly. Bottom nine still tied at four. Mike Stanley, get at me, dog, crushes the Rich Delusia pitch to deep center. The game winner, Stanley, who changed his batting stance. He closed it up a little bit before the game, and the advice of his manager gets his sixth homer of the year. Blue Jays win it five to four. You cannot. Dropped from the top of the order to the bottom because of a 139 average his last eight games. Watch out there, doctor. Y'all don't know nothing about this right here. Grand slam. Second home run this year. Second career slam by Damon. Four zip Royals. Bottom two, same score. Tim Belcher's pitch to Fred McGriff. Lopping down the left field line. Watch Jeff Conine getting his glove freak on. No fear. Watch it again. Conine figures, if my batting average is only 194, might as well freak him with the glove. And how many times has this happened? Great catch. Next inning, Conine freaking him with the bat. First home run of the year for Conine, 99th of his career. Royals beat the double raise 10 to 2. Didn't hit the roof. No, didn't hit the roof. Almost hit the roof. The second game, F.P. Santangelo, Jeff Kent, leaping grab. Expo's defense was Here's on as well. Page. Rich Aurelia, shallow Meyer, center field. Center Rondell, Rondell White run, run, makes a diving make catch. Bottom of the eighth, Bill Miller had a 17-game hitting streak. Second. It would not reach 18, but the streak at 17 is still the longest in the majors this year. The veteran Danny Darwin facing Ryan McGuire gets him looking. Giants go on to win 2 0. Darwin and Rob Nen combine on the four hitter to complete the sweep of the Expos. Les Expos were held to one run. None on, nobody out. Mark Portugal gets Eric Carroll swinging. Portugal, fresh off a six-week stint on the DL, has Todd Hollinsworth to ground out to end the fifth. Perfect through five is Portugal. Bottom of the sixth, leadoff batter Thomas Howard breaks up the perfect game. So much for setting up the drum. Portugal would recover, however, to get out of this inning. Phillies clinging to a 1-0 lead because Hideo Nomo was equally as tough. The top of the eighth, Greg Jeffries takes Hideo Nomo. Deep and gone. Into the right field stands. Philly up two to nothing. Bottom of the eighth, Portugal still cruising. Jose Vizcaino swinging. Portugal dominating. Eight innings, two hits, one walk, four strike, four strikeouts on only 85 pitches. And this just fresh off the deal for the tenth time in his 14-year career he does this. Jackson bunts off Omar Dahl. Kelly Stinnett makes a great catch in most acrobatic fashion. The diving, barehanded grab. Bottom of the six, we're tied at one. Two on, two outs for Matt Williams, who's in a terrible slump, but he's looking awful purple. Takes Cal Eldred off the center field wall. Jay Bell, Travis Lee, come on down. Make it 3-1 Diamondbacks. 4-1 Diamondbacks is your final. Matt Williams broke. An 0 for 26 slump to break a 1 1 tie and eventually break up Arizona's eight game losing streak. Cora on his 33rd birthday. Peace. Rides Jason Beret out. Cora's first home run of the year. Happy birthday to you. Bottom six. Greg Norton has already homered off Randy Johnson. Hey, Norton, why don't you come over here and rock the ball again? Norton's second homer of the night, third of the year, said big unit. The only Norton I ever heard of before was Kenny Norton, the boxer. This guy knocked me out tonight. Top seven, David Segui with the man on. Mike Cameron twisting, turning, no doubt. Mariners go down 5-3. Norton was starting at third base in place of Robin Ventura.
Runners in first and second, bottom six, Tigers down 3-1. Bobby Higginson getting biz nizzy with a double to the gap in left center field. Brian Hunter and Joe Randis score Higginson, a 331 hitter, two for four, two doubles. Still bottom six, runner on third, Damian Easley pulls out his wood and shows it to everybody. His eighth jack of the year, he also scored three runs. Tigers go up 5-3, they go on to win it 8-3. Kenny Rogers loses for the first time in six starts. He of the year. Portugal. Top two, two outs. Luke Collier, who got caught in a ninth inning rundown Wednesday night, says run this down. Lines the pitch to left center. Jermaine Allensworth scores. Actually, what Collier really said was every day is a new day. Top five, two outs. Collier at the plate again. Yep, yep. Singles to right. Allensworth scores again. Lou three for four with two ribs. Pirates up 6-1. Meanwhile, Jose Silva was just blowing up. Gets Daryl Ward swinging at the ball in the dirt. One of five Ks. Then Silva with his glove. Makes a sweet play in the Craig Biggio comebacker. Then Silva plays Jack Howell like a jazz man tickles the ivory. Smooth. Silva, the rookie inspired by John Lieber's complete game Wednesday, said it didn't give me pressure. It just made me more excited. Seven innings, five hits. Pirates win. Defense. Jim Eisenreich pulls it to first. Eduardo Perez with the low throw to Scott Winchester covering. Gets by him. Derek Lee scores. Error on Perez. Not what you want from a guy hitting 195. As for the Marlins, Edgar Renteria lost in the lights. Spider, I thought that. But no, Spider, you, I thought you said that. No. Now some good defense. Melvin Yeves, broken bat. Dave Berg breaking off a soft glove. Then Berg at the plate hits one off the glove of Barry Larkin. Brett Boone fields and fires home. Greg Zahn thought he had scored. Greg Zahn was toast. Top nine, Marlins down 11-8, tying run at the plate. Jeff Shaw gets Jim Eisenreich to swing at a bunch of hot air. 13th save for Jeff Shaw. Reds win it 11-8. Eddie Taubensey was 4-4, four for four, raising his average to 373. He's never been this hot, said Eddie, not even in Little League or in high school. Well, maybe in Little League, but certainly not in my pro career.